Hi, Coach Calvin here and welcome to day number four of your home workouts. Today is all about the highs and the lows, all about increasing the heart rate to and your recovery. So, in these workouts you're going to need something that's going to charge you for the workouts, something that's going to weigh about 15 to 20 pounds. So I'm lucky enough to have a cat around the house, so I'm lucky enough to have bags of cat litter that were just going to challenge me through these workouts. So, don't forget, challenge yourself. Keep tagging us and keep smashing the workouts. So I want to give up a I want to give a, sh a shout out to Anne, Vicky, Helen, Kylie who've been smashing the workouts, and many of you as well that's been smashing the workouts. So do not forget, keep tagging us. We want to share the love. We want to hear all about these workouts you guys are doing, and enjoy. Welcome to your dynamic warm up. This is going to be five minutes of work with five exercises. Jess, since you already have shoes in hand, let's go ahead and do those forward arm circles. Bringing those arms out to a T, nice and straight. We're gonna go ahead and rotate forward, really opening up those chest muscles and shoulders with a wide range of motion. Then 30 seconds later, we're gonna flip it and reverse it. We've got 30 seconds of a reverse arm circle, trying to match that same range of motion. Go ahead, put those shoes down. Next up, we have one minute of a squat to overhead raise. So Jess is gonna be using a towel. You can use whatever's at home with you. Feet hip width apart, those toes facing forward, a nice soft bend in the knees, chest nice and tall. We'll be heavy in those heels as we drop into our squat, bringing those arms overhead, back staying nice and straight the entire way through. Options, you can always reduce your range of motion on either of the two movements. Let's go ahead, put that towel away. Next up, we have one minute of a Cossack squat or an alternating lateral lunge. So our feet are wider than hip width here. Our toes are still facing forward, chest nice and tall. We're gonna go ahead and lunge to our left hand side first or stage left. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and alternate from side to side. Back stays nice and straight, that weight distribution, mid foot to heel. You can always reduce your range of motion if you need to. Next up, we got some seal jacks. So go ahead, come out of that position. We got one minute. We're gonna go ahead and bring those arms out to a T, popping those feet out nice and wide, a little bit of explosive movement to elevate that heart rate. Options, you can always walk it out and walk it back in. We're gonna bring it down to that high plank position for one minute of a wide mountain climber. So head to heel, one straight line, hands stacked underneath the shoulders, feet hip width apart. We're gonna bring that right foot to the outside of that right hand, really getting that full range of motion in the hips and alternate sides. Options, use whatever range of motion is available to you. Now, go ahead and get started.
This cardio block's all about power. In power days, it's all about peaks and valleys, and we're kind of experiencing peaks and valleys right now. So this is kind of like chasing your kid around the house and being able to recover. We're really trying to increase the heart's efficiency. So with that being said, we do have a Tabata style block. Eight total rounds, 20 seconds of work to 10 seconds of rest. Julia, we're gonna be doing those high knees. So we're gonna, it's, we're gonna, try, to, we're gonna try to make it look like an all out right here. We're going in three, two, one, all out. Seeing her pump those knees, keeping those arms pumping, really getting it going, and then recover. Options here, we can always march in place. Just keeping that knee nice and tall, very nice. You guys have eight rounds here. Go ahead, get started. Time for a little total body power. We've all been in that situation where we slept through our alarm, missing that big meeting. We hop out of bed and we got to get moving. This workout's going to help out with that. This is going to be 10 minutes of work. We're going to do it a little bit different. And every minute on the minute, 
You guys will be alternating through three different exercises. We'll give you a rep count. After that minute's complete, it'll be your time to rest. Julia, you ready to get powerful? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. In minute one, you're gonna be completing 10 total reps of a squat to an alternating reverse lunge. Now, Julia's grabbing our, our barrel of pretzels, favorite of mine during these times. We're gonna go ahead heavy in those heels, dropping into our squat, chest nice and tall. Then we're gonna step back with one foot, making sure that back knee stays as low to the ground as we can, switching sides, getting that second foot in. Two lunges equals one rep. Options here, we can always reduce our range of motion on any part of this movement. After we're done with our 10 reps, we'll put those pretzels away for now. We gotta earn it. In minute number two, we're gonna drop down to a high plank position, 20 total reps of an alternating shoulder tap. Hand stacked underneath the shoulders, feet hip width apart. We're gonna keep that core engaged, squeezing those glutes to keep that anti-rotation going as we make contact with that opposite shoulder. Options here, we can always drop down to the knees, getting those heels up in the air for that plank. After our 20 reps, we get to rest. We're gonna come back up to a standing position. Now, what power block wouldn't be complete without a few full burpees? We got 10 to be exact. So we're gonna go ahead, squat down, making sure those hands come to the ground, popping our feet back into our high plank, dropping that chest down into our push-up, swinging those feet forward, and then getting a little bit of vertical there. Options here, we can always walk back into our plank, reducing our range of motion or dropping our knees on that push-up, and then stepping our feet up, no jump required. We're gonna do that for three rounds, which if math serves me right, only gets us to nine minutes, right? We do have a 10 minute block. So we're gonna close this out with one minute of a plank hold. We're gonna be in our low plank position on our forearms, elbows stacked underneath those shoulders, belly button to spine, those glutes squeeze so it stays nice and low. I don't know if you guys can see, but Julia is shaking, she is working. Options here, we can always drop down to the knees. You got 10 minutes of work, go ahead and get started.
This is our final block. It's going to have two exercises, working our way back from 10 reps all the way down to one with a little bit of a power feel. So are you ready to earn the burn right now? Yeah, me a power. All right, let's get it going then. We have, again, two exercises starting with our squat jack. To add just a little bit of spice, we picked up a cooler, but you can always grab a box of shoes as well. Just something that's gonna add a little bit of a challenge to the exercise. Let's get into that standing set position once again, but this time your feet are gonna be a little bit wider than hip width apart. Keeping your chest nice and proud and that smile on your face. We're gonna sink down into those heels just like you're sitting in a chair. And as you drive your body up, you're gonna jump your feet together, land softly back into that squat. Your option, you can definitely take the cooler out of it if you need to, or simply step yourself to the side and then back to the center. Again, we're starting with 10 reps here. Your second exercise also has a little bit of a flair, that power feel to it. High plank position first. We're gonna add that plank jack. Shoulder again stacked directly over that wrist. We wanna keep that back completely flat. Core nice and tight, glutes nice and tight. Remember, we don't want that booty bouncing up and down as we're working this exercise. Your option here, you can step that foot to the side and then step it back in. John, you can go ahead and relax, but you guys have got to get to work. Again, work your way down from 10. 10, 9, 8, all the way down to one. Little rest as possible between exercises. Let's do it.
we've worked hard to this point, but what's equally important is the flexibility block. With this one, primarily, we're gonna be working the posterior chain, those hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Our focus here is to make sure that we reduce injury, especially hunching our shoulders over, hitting next episode on our favorite streaming service. We have four movements that we're gonna hold for 20 seconds each. Am you ready to do this? Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna start things off with our standing overhead side reach. We're gonna bring our arms overhead. We're gonna grab that wrist, nice deep breath, leaning to our left side to start off, working the lats and the obliques. As we get it a little bit deeper into that stretch, each inhale on the exhalation, we're gonna see if we can get a millimeter further into that. Now, whatever range of motion is available to you, use that. Then we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Nice deep breath, chest nice and tall. And let's come back to that starting position. Next up, we have our standing toe reach. Nice deep breath, feet together, shoulders back nice and proud. We're gonna hinge from the waist, keeping that chest nice and tall, reaching for those toes. Working primarily with our hamstrings, glutes, a little bit with the lower back here. Now, Emily has ridiculous flexibility. You may not have that available to you. So you can always go to the calves, maybe behind the knees. Again, whatever's available to you at that moment. Very nice. Let's go ahead and walk those hands out to a high plank. We're gonna get ourselves ready for a downward dog. We're gonna start from our high plank position, walk the hands back just a little bit, pressing through the hands, raising those glutes in the air. Legs are straight to really emphasize that stretch on the hamstrings. And for an added benefit on the calves, we're gonna add a running addition to it, alternating, bending each knee. Nice, slow, and controlled here. Last but not least, we have a runner's lunge with a rotation. We're gonna step one foot out nice and wide, dropping that back knee down to the ground. We're gonna bring both hands down to the inside of that right leg, pressing that elbow into the right knee. We're gonna reach up with our left hand, reaching for the sky. This is gonna work the thoracic spine, really making sure we keep it nice and safe. Holding it for 20 seconds, bringing it back down, and then switch sides. You have four exercises, 20 second hold for each. Go ahead and cool down, you've earned it. 